world without including an account of its ancient Greek founder, Pythagoras. As the story goes, Pythagoras was passing by a blacksmith's workshop when he noticed that when certain hammers were sounded together, they had a more pleasing sound than other combinations. From this observation, Pythagoras constructed mathematical ratios for all of the musical intervals. For instance, if one hammer was twice the size of another, the perfect octave was sounded. Pythagoras continued to measure the sounds and sizes of the various hammers to construct the mathematical ratios for the musical intervals. Let me demonstrate with this guitar. Now, Pythagoras would have been picking up his lyre rather than his tailor, but the two instruments are very similar in this respect. Each is the most popular instrument of its day, especially for accompanying the voice. So if I take my string and divide it exactly in two parts, one, two, I create the ratio two to one, two to one. which sounds the perfect octave. If I take my string and divide it into three equal parts, one, two, three, I can create the ratio three to two, three to two, which sounds the perfect fifth, and if I take my string and divide it into four equal parts, one, two, three, four, I can create the ratio four to three, four to three, which sounds the perfect fourth. Much of our modern music theory comes down to us from the ancient Greeks. Not only do we form our intervals the way Pythagoras did, we also construct scales in a similar manner. The ancient Greek scale was based upon a tetrachord, tetra being four, four consecutive notes. So if I start on B and play four consecutive notes, B, C, D, and E, I have a diatonic tetrachord. If I start on B and play four consecutive notes including some type of chromatic pitch, for instance B, C, and then C sharp, and E, I have a chromatic tetrachord. And if I play a tetrachord that includes an enharmonic, enharmonic notes being notes that sound the same but are spelled differently. So B and C flat, C and E, I have an enharmonic tetrachord. So our modern major scales are made up of groups of two tetrachords and each tetrachord with the structure whole step, whole step, half step. So for instance, if I build a C major scale, I start on C, D, E, F, that's my first tetrachord, whole step, whole step, half step. And then my second tetrachord, G, A, B, C, whole step, whole step, half step. My second tetrachord is made up of whole step, whole step, half step as well.